So this video is gonna be a little bit different. I am gonna talk about like DaVinci Resolve a little bit and whether or not I feel like it's worth switching to. I know you've probably seen a hundred of those videos from different creators making the switch from Premiere to DaVinci, but really I wanna dive into the new Premiere version 23.5 update. Is it actually worth switching at this point to DaVinci Resolve from Premiere? And then if I'm actually gonna be making the switch myself. I wanna start off by saying no one's paying me to say anything in this video. Like this is 100% my opinion on Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. And I wanna do this so that you can formulate your own opinion. Now I've been using Premiere Pro since the CS5 version and looking back, I'm like, wow, that doesn't seem like it was that long ago. But if you really think about it, that was a really long time ago. I didn't actually start with Premiere Pro. I started with Sony Vegas and then for a time, I thought that I only needed to edit in After Effects, so I would edit whole projects in After Effects. And then I discovered Premiere, and I've been using it ever since. Now, since a lot of people have been making the switch from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve, I feel like Adobe has been doing a lot of work in trying to improve Premiere Pro. And so those are there's some of the things that I've noticed is like now in version 23.5, you actually have the autosave in the background. So before it would have that annoying box that would pop up and it would stop everything that you're doing and it would have to save. So that actually goes on in the background. So if you, now if you just go in and change your autosave settings to like every one minute, it'll autosave in the background and it doesn't disrupt you. Also, I haven't really had any issues with Premiere Pro crashing like it used to. So now if Premiere Pro crashes, they have this recovery mode where you can recover your project, which hopefully works well when it comes to recovering your project. Text-based editing has been really huge. It wasn't a 23.5 update, but it was a 23.4. And it's been really good for me and my corporate videos to be able to go in for like interviews and find sound bites and things if I wanna use them for clips. So it's really streamlined my editing process because you can just see those different words at a glance and just helps me edit so much faster. But with all these updates to Premiere Pro, is it still worth it to stick with it or should you just make the switch to DaVinci? And my answer to that is it depends. I know that's a terrible answer, but I'm explaining why it depends. Now, if you're new and you're on a budget and you're looking to build your portfolio, I think DaVinci Resolve is a great option for you because one, you can start using it for free. The only drawbacks are like you can't export higher than 4K and you can't work with 10 bit footage. And for a lot of people, that's not even an issue like for a lot of people you just pick up the camera totally you know fine and then there's some effects that actually aren't in there but some of those effects you may not even need like noise reduction and things like that but the fact that it's free is just it's great like and it, you know if you actually buy the paid option it's 295 dollars i believe it's 295 dollars but you only pay that one time versus a subscription deal that you pay year after year after year with Premiere Pro. Another thing is it depends on the type of creator. Like if you're experienced with Premiere Pro, but you don't really need a whole bunch of like crazy features like advanced color grading features or just various other different ways to have full control of your videos, like what a lot of filmmakers really want to have. If you're not into that and you just wanna create videos and just you know push out content, just stick with Premiere Pro. But if you're doing some very detailed editing and cuts and require a whole bunch of effects, you might wanna make the switch to DaVinci. I've seen a lot of people talking about DaVinci Resolve being a faster program than Premiere Pro, but honestly, in these past few months, since Premiere has updated the timeline speed, they've updated different effects and GPU acceleration and all that, like, I haven't noticed much of a difference between the two. Like, I'm using DaVinci for some of my corporate videos and YouTube videos, and honestly, it's it's pretty similar. I'm not gonna say that DaVinci is not fast, this is just my personal experience. So here's what I'm doing. I am not completely abandoning Premiere Pro. When I first saw the video, I think Sam Coulter was like one of the first big creators that were making the switch from Premiere to DaVinci. I've seen that there's so many notable reasons why you should make the switch, but I've also been noticing that Adobe has continued to improve. Again, like I said, I've been using Premiere since the CS5 version. I don't even remember how many years ago that was but I've been using it for that long. So I've really am invested in this program. And so it's hard for me to wanna to make that switch. Yes, I've had multiple projects crash and I've wanted to rip my hair out, but it's Adobe. And I've had that trust that they're going to try to improve the software. And again, if they do not continue to make improvements and I do feel like that DaVinci Resolve is a better option for me as a filmmaker, then I'm most likely gonna make that switch. But I'm not saying that you need to make that switch. But on this channel, I'm going to actually be making more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, and I'm also gonna be making tutorials on other free video editing softwares out there like CapCut. I wanna make sure that you as a creator know all your options and help you make the best decision 
to make sure that you have a, a more efficient process. Now do this, comment down below and let me know what video editing software you'd like to learn more about. Whether it's DaVinci, Premiere Pro, Final Cut, whatever it is. It could be, you know, web-based, I don't care. But if there's features, effects, and things you'd like to learn more about, let me know down in the comments. I'm reading every single one of them and I wanna be able to make these videos so that way you have the information that you need. I'm sorry, I know this video is a little different than what we're used to on the channel, but if you wanna learn more about video editing, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.